What up, New York here? That's my line, I have to say it. So anyway, the king of crack, the master of meth, and the hero of heroin apparently has said my name. Lance from off the yard. I'm like a, I'm like a celebrity now. If a celebrity became a celebrity by having some low-life bum who lives behind McDonald's in a cardboard box and uses an Obama phone to make YouTube videos and said your name became a celebrity. So uh, yeah, I'm really, really impressed with that. Anyway, we're gonna have to commentate. He's calling me out by my name. So in case you missed it, let's watch a little bit of the beginning of his video. Oh, what a day, what a day, what a day. Oh, I got to tap in real quick. Waiting on a buddy of mine to get in to the, uh, to the stream because we're going to have a, a discussion about, hmm. What you talk about? What y'all think I should do? What's popping everybody, man? Tisk tisk, huh? I see you. I see you. Yeah. What's up, BT? What's up, guys? John, how you doing, buddy? Let's go. Yeah, they uh People love the talk smack. Right? Love the talk smack. Let me see if my buddy can get in, man. Had a guest. Sit to the invite there, cuz. I don't even know where to start, but we'll start here. Look at this guy's eyes. This guy is higher than giraffe balls. He's higher than heroin Heather when she got her welfare check. He's higher than Jay's mugshot. He's higher than Lindsay Lohan's skirt or her rehab bill. He's higher than his mom when, he, when she conceived him, when she delivered him, or tried to abort him at five years old. He is straight high. Then look at his necklace. Look at that cross. You know it's fake. If it wasn't fake, it would it would be in the local pawn shop. He would have traded it for a chicken nugget. He would have traded it for a half a cigarette or maybe a drag. He would have traded it for anything. He would he, he would have traded it for a French fry. It's this guy is just unbelievable. But he's gonna mention my name, so let's keep watching. But they speak it all the time. And I don't mind the haters about. One, just just get a wild hair up your ass, one of them, dog, and, 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 and let's set one up. Set one up. And I'll beat the shit out of you in front of your whole family. I'll smile while I do it. And Diddy, you can get it too. I'll beat you. I'll beat your ass. I'll slap your old lady if I feel like it, bro. Fuck it. That seems to be the new trend around uh, YouTube, right? <laughs> you clowns don't even know. You clowns talk about uh you talk about the prison genre, but you've never been to prison. And then you got the audacity to talk shit. Bro, I wouldn't even hey what's up, Tony? How you doing, brother? I wouldn't even oh, I would I would fight them with my open hands. I wouldn't even punch them. I'd be afraid that I'd get a charge for punching one of these lames because they, they're not men. They're they're like kids. Or women. Or men. I've heard a lot of fighting terms, but I never heard anybody say, go ahead and get a wild hair up your ass. What is this guy? We're talking about ass and butt plugs and everything else in the world. No. And then he's talking about fighting people like that's going to happen. The guy can't even afford gas to get up the corner and he's going to come over here. I'm not saying it. I'm not acting tough. Maybe he can beat me up. I've been picked up like... The Hulk picked up Loki and smashed on the ground. You know, win some, you lose some. But I'll tell you, I'll beat Lance every time. Want to know why? Because when he comes running at me, I'll take some crack and throw it off a bridge and watch him jump off. Or if I'm drinking a Red Bull, I'll take the can and throw it to him. And he'll run to King Kong to cash it in for a nickel. You know, I'll, I'll point at a half-smoking cigarette on the ground to watch him die face first into the concrete. This guy couldn't even get close to me. I'd flick a wooden nickel his way and he'd run. 
If I wanted to make him my friend, I would tell him, listen, just hang out. When I'm done smoking cigarettes, you can smoke the rest of them. This guy would be up my ass in a heartbeat, yet he's talking about how I'm afraid to fight him. I'm afraid to fight him. Bro, I ain't been afraid to fight no cracking in my life because it doesn't even come down to a fight. I'll just simply be like, hey, bro, I know you want to fight me, but how about I buy you a cheeseburger? Cheeseburger, cheeseburger. He'd be all about it. Him and heroin Heather would be on top of it. Next. Nope. Sorry. I had to say one more thing before we went to the next video. Did this guy say he'll open hand smack us rather than beat us up because we're like women and children? Go back and watch it because that's what he says. We're like women and children, so he'll open hand smack us. Is that what you do? Is that why Heroin Heather doesn't show her face? I always figured her face looked like a pepperoni pizza with all the toppings. If you threw it out the car door and it slid on the concrete and a whole high school track team ran over it and one of them picked it up and threw it in the lake and it floated down the lake and a dog grabbed it out of the water and started chewing it up with a bunch of rats. I thought that's what her face looked like. Now I'm realizing it probably does, but it also has a black eye on top of it. And you still have fans. I'll open hand smack you, and then two seconds later you say, because you guys are like women and children. I hate to be your son, bro. You, you always talk how you're a good dad, but apparently not, especially since it seems like your son might be raising you. Now, on to the next video. <laughs> you clowns don't even know. You clowns talk about, uh, you talk about the prison genre, but you've never been to prison. And then you got the audacity to Talk shit? Bro, I wouldn't even... Hey, what's up, Tony? How you doing, brother? I wouldn't even... Oh, I would I would fight them with my open hands. I wouldn't even punch them. I'd be afraid that I'd get a charge for punching one of these lames because they, they're not men. They're, they're like kids or women or maybe a mix. But anyway, and who's this other dude um, from New York? He calls himself New York. Um, I don't even know the name of his channel, but he's making his whole content is me and Jay. I mean, he doesn't know which one he wants to suck, dog. He, he, he has to, um, you know, I guess flip a coin every day. But... There it is. He finally says my name. Well, first he talks about smacking women some more because that's what a real man does. Then he talks about, he finally brings it up. I'm a celebrity, folks. La, la, la. Talking about how I'm on his and Jay's nuts. Listen, if I was on you and Jay's nuts... I don't think I'd be calling you a low-life crackhead, you low-life crackhead. Basically, I do have my own stuff, which you can check it out too. But might as well keep commenting on you guys because every time there's a train wreck, the news has to show up, right? Somebody has to be there to tell people how it is, being everybody's probably thinking the same thing I am. And hell, it's good to laugh. It feels good. I got to go back and watch the video of you pretending you had cancer, I was told about. That's got to be amazing. Yet you're not doing this for money. Come on, bro. I used to talk about you living in a box behind King Cullen. I'm starting to think maybe, maybe you live under a cigarette box. Or, I don't know, maybe you Oscar to grouch yourself in a gas in a garbage can somewhere. But I don't even think you could afford a garbage can. <sighs> Damn, bro. Thanks for mentioning my name, but I'm not on your dick. And by the way, as far as that goes, you're the one who's saying, me and Jay are going to work it out. Weren't you just talking bad about him for the last week? Or did you realize maybe every now and then he flicks you a wooden nickel? Or every now and then maybe he lets you take a drag of his cigarette. Yeah, you don't want to lose those type of friends, bro. That's money. Next. And it changes his mind. It's about that mother and father who have a, a, they're at their wits end and don't know what to do. And they call me and I sit there on the phone or FaceTime for two or three hours with their son or daughter. And help them. Do I charge them for that? No. But you guys would. You would do some little bitch shit like that. Charge somebody for that. It's sad, bro. What up? Had to take a ride real quick. As you can see, it's real nice out in New York right now. That's our beautiful weather. Anyway, did this guy just say that when parents are having trouble with their drug addict children... They call him to help, and he talks to their kids. That would be like calling Timothy McVeigh the Unabomber because your son's been lighting fires. Are you serious? I can picture it now. They call Lance. My son is having lots of problems, Lance. He's smoking crack. Could you talk to him about it? 
Sure, ma'am, I'll get him off of it. Put him on the phone. Is this Johnny? Yeah, Lance, it's Johnny. Hey, Johnny, do you think I can get in on some of that crack? Can you get me some crack, maybe? Don't tell your mom I'm saying this, but maybe we can meet up and just smoke crack. This guy, what's he gonna tell people? How do you tell people to do the right thing when your eyes look like this and you lost everything and you live in a tic-tac box under a bridge like a troll? Trolls live better than you. I, I, maybe you're living inside of a heroin needle for all I know because your brain is poof, gone. It's mush up there, my friend. You are all brain mush if you think there's a parent in this world who wants to call you to help their kid. Crackheads. Crackheads are just crackheads. Next. I can't. I know I shouldn't do this video. I know it. I know, bro. And I know you like my manager pretty much. <laughs> like, and you would tell me, don't do it. Yeah. But I, I can't do it. I can't not do it, bro. I can't not speak on this stuff. Bryce. I'm being ready to drop a music video. He done scorched them all in a video, in a song. Punishes him. Punishes him. Yeah. <laughs> Punishes him. I mean, he talks about their mamas and some more stuff. But for Dude, real, they right, should no. talk about their mamas. They should talk about your mama because at the end of the day, your mama raised some bitch shit like that, dog. Your mama should have beat your butt. Your mama should have put you in timeout or whatever it is that you should have got to not grow up and be a whole vagina. You're a man, bro. Be a man. Stop being yeah. a bitch. Yeah. Did this half a hamster have the nerve to say it's our mother's fault for not raising men? My dude, a real man has a job and pays for his son. You probably ask your son for lunch money. And if you're living in a house that YouTube is paying for, and it probably costs $22 a week, but like you said, it's better than the crackhead hotel down the block you've been staying at, you're not a man, my friend. Then you start calling this guy your manager. This dude wanted to crack up so bad, he's sitting there in the hood, biting down on his teeth. You want to talk about mothers doing the wrong thing. Your mother, like I said, she was high during conceiving you, during having you the 15 times she tried to abort you when you were seven years old i'm sure she dropped you on your head out the car window in traffic you know on the i-95 i'm sure she tried to sell you for a rock when you were a kid i maybe she did maybe you have a whole nother mother i have no idea but you have some nerve saying we weren't raised right by our mothers Look at you, bro. Just do you ever look in the mirror or do you only use the mirror for sniffing coke? Hmm. Well, too, I, I think that they say to themselves, like, they know that what they're about to put up is fucked up. Like, he knows not to be putting shit up about a 15 year old boy. He know he knows that's wrong. You know, but I think hey, that people get to a point where they're like, I just they get addicted to seeing. A hundred views turn into 500 and 500 views turn into a thousand and they'll just do anything to get that click, you know? Yeah. Hey, moderators, if you can get. It's time for a public service announcement. We have to stop the regularly scheduled program because I do have something I got to say that's half serious. I don't know who was talking about his 15 year old son. I'm thinking it was that guy, Dean. But that's off limits. That kid's been through enough and I'm not even trying to be funny. I pray to God Lance gets on his feet, gets things straight, and has a good relationship with his father. I will never turn this video or this channel into anything like that. I might make fun of the guy, but I'll also be there to support him if he does do the right thing. Maybe some tough love is needed, but I will not talk about his son. And if you know the guy Dean he's talking about, DIY Dean, that guy is basically like a imitation Lance. He's like the, the no frills Lance, except a hundred times worse. He started a channel DIY doing construction. When Jay got arrested, he had the nerve to say Jay got arrested because Jay did shoddy construction work. And then he showed videos of him going to Jay's jobs and fixing it. 
that dude will do anything for views, and that's a true, true story. I'm doing this to make people laugh because it's just funny and I'm having a good time with it. But I watched this guy do a DIY video on how to fix a toilet, and it was completely backwards. Everything he does is horrible. He is the worst, worst carpenter I've ever seen. If you want to laugh and see something funny, I forget the name of his channel, but it's Dean with DIY. And uh, this guy, if you ever need to know how to do something, you can go watch his DIY video and do it 100% backwards and you'll get the job done right. And as far as talking about a 15 year old kid, there's a special place in hell for you, Dean, because I wish the best for Lance's son. No joking, there's no punchline. I do, we'll get back to it. And since we're in the YouTube streets, well, let's do that too then. Let's purge these two. I don't get where where somebody would say to themselves, <laughs> if I send a picture of a dick to this 15-year-old kid, how is that going to accomplish? What does that accomplish? Just, and it, I don't know. But that's, just, I mean, for real, like I, I got this morning, he's sitting over there with his eyes, I guess, and I'm like, what's up, dude? We just kind of got stirring around, you know, he's checking his little thing or whatever, and like, I look over and I'm like, what are you looking at, bro? What are you looking at, Wayne or something? He's like, he's like, no, and I can see his eyes are watering, like, he's upset, like mad. Not crying like he's scared, like mad. You know what I mean? Wait, like, a, minute. Hot. Wait a minute. So you seen him mad, and the first thing that came to your head was that he's looking at wieners? No, I saw the pictures of the wieners on his phone. Oh, okay, okay. I was about I was to like, say. Why bro. If somebody sent your 15-year-old kid a picture of a wiener, you better go find him and do something. I've seen crackheads pick up refrigerators with their pinky. If you tell a crackhead there's a $5 rock under a tractor trailer, he'll pick that thing up with his finger to get to it. I've seen, literally seen a crackhead pick up a washer and dryer on his shoulder on a bicycle. YouTube shows some stuff. Bro, this is not acceptable, whoever did it. But I will say, it's pretty funny that your manager even noticed that right away, he says, bro, so you seen your kid crying and right away knew he had to be looking at a wiener? You should have told him the truth and said, I knew those tears. I had those tears plenty of nights when I was in jail and Big Bubba came into my cell. I knew I was about to see a wiener. Those tears run in the family. But all in all, bro, go get that dude. Tell me who it is, I'll jump on him and bury him too. Because you don't do that to kids. Next. Yeah, tell That's him. lame, you know. dude. You lame as shit for that. Yo, like, you guys jumped on a... You didn't have to take pick sides. That shit was between me and Jay. Whether I made a video about it or not, it was between me and Jay. And it's still between me and Jay. And when all the smoke clears, I'm, I mean, it is what it is. You know, you're going to look stupid again. All you do is look stupid. I might look stupid at him for a moment, but usually when it pans out, people see why I did the things I do. You have no reason for doing that except that you're just a, a dick rider. The stuff between me and Jay is the stuff between me and Jay. It's none of your business. Even though I posted multiple videos about it, that's not your business. Even though I expected you to watch them, it's not your business. To tell you the truth, it wasn't even me. At the time, I was on a whole lot of heroin with some crack and maybe some meth laced up in it and I was hanging out with heroin Heather and she got me to do it because I don't know yeah if you think it's your business it's not because I found out Jay might be my friend again and he buys me quarter water sometimes in cheeseburgers so if you guys can pretend I never said anything about him that would be amazing uh, you know he said he might even add a fry this time if I stopped talking about him and then also your dick ride is without a helmet because when I ride dick, I love to wear a helmet. You can't ride dick without a helmet. Obviously, you've never been to jail. Because when you're in jail, you need to ride dick with a helmet. That's what I do. This guy is out of his mind. And think, is this really how I want to be remembered? Swinging from another man's nuts? Hmm. Yes, he does, uh, James. He does seem like kind of a weirdo. Um... I, yeah, he was. I, I couldn't have been sell it. I think he's doing all this for the wrong reason. I think he's Jay's friend to make 
money off videos and stuff. You know what I mean? Like his content's weak. Is is he's weak? I just don't like him. I don't like him. I said it. Whatever. You know. Yeah. I'm so tired, I hope everybody. I'm tired of my, huh? I said I, I hope everybody realizes what Lance is saying. Basically, is like he got on here today. He addressed it, and now he's moving on. Mm. Mm-hmm. No, we're not giving no more shine to these fucking channels and shit. That's what they do. Like Pac-Man. Pac-Man gobbling nuts. <laughs> yeah. Yo, a lot of these people, bro, I don't even know these channels. And I'm your I talk to you every single day. So I know they're not getting under your I figured it out. I know who the other guy is. That's Lance's translator. It's like being he speaks a different language. You know the way when somebody talks Spanish, there's an English to Spanish translator? Well, this is the gibberish to English. Lance be like, cock, butt plug, mud, crack, crack, heroin, one, two, three. And the guy's like, yeah, what he's trying to say is he's not going to take this anymore. Also, then they start talking about how it's not getting under his skin. My brother, man, you just posted an entire video on how it's getting under your skin. And listen, you need to come with some better comebacks. Everything out of your mouth is about cocks and riding cocks and butt plugs. And it's just everything. These guys are riding cocks and I love cock and cock in my mouth. And, you know, I was sucking cock when this guy said this. And they must be gay because I know gay because I intentionally dropped the soap in the shower. Bro, you're a joke, bro. You used to be something. Be something again. On a real note, change your life, bro. Be a father to your kid. Stop all this shit. You know, you were there once. You were so close, bro. Go get help. Really, go get help. Come back out. I would love to post videos about you being totally turned around again. But right now, you're a joke to everyone, bro. You're just a straight crackhead. That's what you are. Is that what you want to be remembered by? Do you want your son to look back on these videos one day and go, wow, my dad was a crackhead. My dad was the commander crack. You know, it's out of control, bro. It's all I got to say this time. But I am glad you mentioned my name because, again, I'm like a celebrity now. All right? Take it easy, New York here. Till next time, peace. I'm back. I had one more thing to say. I was so mad that I had to pick up the phone and call Lance and try to ask him why he's so mad at me. All I'm trying to do is help the guy get it clean after all. But I couldn't understand the word he was saying. So I called him and I was simply asked him, hey, Lance, listen, I just want to see you straighten out your life, bro. That's all I want from you. Straighten out your life and be a father to your kid. What do you think about that? You know what he said to me? I got a hole in my sock. I'm smoking on a rock. If I was in prison, I'd be sucking on a... Well, anyway, uh, butt plug, butt plug, Nissan Toyota, butt plug, go.